Before we dive in and start rigging our character inside of After Effects, I thought it was important to touch on how I made this character the character we'll be using for this course. And if you have the source files, you can find this under your Chapter 2 folder entitled redthunder.psd. I won't go into the specifics of how I created the character step by step. Perhaps I can save that for another course. But here, what I've done is drawn this character inside a piece of software or an application on my iPad called Adobe Draw. From there, I was able to bring the rig inside of Photoshop. The cool thing about Adobe Draw is you can use layers and then you can transfer the drawing directly to Photoshop or Illustrator while retaining those layers. This gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to designing your rigs, especially when we need to separate things in order to use the Puppet Pin tool. I also used a piece of software called Adobe Sketch to sketch out the initial structure of the character. I then saved that as an image and then brought it into Adobe Draw and then created the final character that you see here. But more importantly, inside of Photoshop, you'll see we have a character made up of a few different layers. We have the front arm, the front leg, the head, the body, the back leg, and the back arm. This is important because we're going to, in the next video, separate out the elements of this character so that we can properly rig it with the Puppet Pin tool. So, I'll see you in the next video.